Hygiene. Hygiene. Okay. What did we see about general hygiene? What was it the first thing? The first thing we discussed. Do you remember? Circulatory. Personal 
habit because it is the the first one which is causing diseases or uh, ill health to people. Here we see two things. There are different diseases which are related to, uh, to the lifestyle, the way we are living. Those diseases including cardiovascular <coughs> diseases. We see the cancers. We see diabetes. We see obesity. Also, there are other uh, diseases like uh, osteoporosis. These are different diseases that are related to the lifestyle and these diseases are influenced by different factors. The, the first factors, they are what is called non-changeable factors. The second are the changeable <coughs> factors. For the non-changeable factors, the non-changeable factors, we can mention something like sex, age, and also heritage. You see, there are some diseases you can get because, because maybe you are female or you are male. These are related maybe, for instance, uh, the diseases related to the gynecology, those diseases cannot affect males. But also age, because when old man, the old man or old woman also can, uh, can have, can suffer different diseases, different from what the young people can suffer. Also heritage from the genetic. The second, are the changeable, changeable factors which are, we can see what uh, smoking, do you know smoking? Yes. Okay. Like uh, taking alcohol, like taking high I uh, like uh, taking meat, <coughs> taking fat, <coughs> taking sugar. If you take at high level, meat, fat, sugar, salt, this also can influence those problems of cancers, diabetes, and other diseases. Also, this is the, another factor which is taking low, like uh, serious, like uh, legumes, like uh, nuts, like vegetables, if you take just a few of those, uh, those foods, like uh, cereals, legumes, nuts, vegetables, maybe it can, it can affect.
affect you to suffer from these diseases. And I can tell you that these diseases, especially the cardiovascular and the cancers, are the first causes of death in around the world. So we need to to pay attention on this, as especially if you who are still very young, so that you can prevent and live longer. Okay, another thing which can cause also another factor is stress. Stress when you are feeling stressed because of different problems, because of maybe uh, the, the class, okay, you are not succeeding in the class, so also stress is one of the factors, but which is changeable. So if you, if you want to overcome all this, there are some preventive preventing measures you can take. The first one, which is exercise. Exercise is the first, uh, the first advice. The second one is, is health, related to health um, lifestyle. Here we we'll see um, adequate, adequate, balanced diet. What are the benefits of breakfast? What are the benefits of, bre of taking breakfast? Mm -hmm. Uh -huh. When you take breakfast, you feel strong, and also have energy to study. Okay, also it prevents hunger. You, you can't yawn like somebody who didn't take something. Also, another benefit of, of breakfast, another benefit. Yes? Sorry? Happiness. Happiness. Okay. Thank you very much. Also, you feel very happy because you have eaten something. Who can tell me one benefit of physical activity or exercise? If you exercise, how do you feel? Hmm? Who can tell me? Mm -hmm. Good circulation of our blood. Mm -hmm. Thank you very much. Saturation of our blood. Uh -huh. You feel very happy, mm -hmm. relaxed, and also it sharpens your, your brain to find solutions. Even it helps you to, to think. Your brain will think carefully. There are more than one who doesn't exercise. Okay. Also, it prevents stress. It manages the stress. Also, it prevents or it uh, it prevents depression. You know depression? Yes, depression. Uh -huh. Another benefit of this exercise. It's possible you to start very hard and to be succeed in your your song. Okay, thank you very much. Okay. Thank you very much. Really it's good.